Hello everybody, it's Mario. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a review for the new designer Maleficent doll released as part of the Midnight Masquerade series. Now, of course, I'm sure you're all familiar with the collection they released last year of Midnight Masquerade. That one was more of princesses and a few heroines, right? Or the girls that are not considered princesses, which is really cool that they included them. And now this year they did the villains, which is also really really cool some of them are match you know matching the ones from last year but not really for the most part as you can see they all look awesome um, i will put a link below for the dates for the usa and for the dates uh for europe now when it comes to the usa they are releasing them through merch pass it's this new system that they're using online on shop disney and basically it's kind of like a raffle you're supposed to enter and you're notified like a day or two later through an email if you have a chance to purchase the doll or not. Now, in my opinion, and from what I've read from pretty much all you guys that I know in the doll community, this system sucks. It's horrible. Uh, so many resellers are able to enter it and somehow eBay is full of dolls and yet so many collectors that I know did not even get a chance. I definitely didn't get a chance to get it through Merch Pass, my best friend either. Like, it's just, you know, a disaster in my opinion. However, on the website, it does say that stores will get them at a later date. Now, the stores don't want to tell you what that day is because the point of Merch Pass, which I do understand as much as I don't like it, I get the concept. The concept is to avoid crowds at Disney Store. You know, before they used to tell you, come Tuesday the 13th, and then all 20 people will line up outside. That's what they're trying to avoid with Merch Pass. So you have to understand that. You know, we kind of have to because we're going through a pandemic. <laughs> And Disney Store doesn't want to be responsible for 20 kids catching coronavirus waiting for a designer dot, and we don't want to catch it either. So, you know, that being said, I just, I am relieved that I went to my Disney Store and my left son was there. And I would just do that, you know, show up randomly at your Disney Store and check. Don't be bothering the cast members. They're probably not allowed to tell you when they're getting them. They probably don't even know because everything is so different now. So... You know, just keep that in mind. Again, I'm thankful and hopeful that I found her at my Disney store and I will continue to try Merch Pass and hopefully the next one I get through Merch Pass and I don't have to go to the Disney store. But as far as I know, my Disney store was very safe. Um, I didn't feel, you know, unsafe or worried at all. It was pretty good. So yeah, again, <laughs> I always hate when I talk so much at the beginning, but this is the first video in this collection. So all this information was kind of needed. Um, if you have questions about Merch Pass, I can try and help you. But again, just check out the links that I'm going to put below for USA and Europe. Okay? Well, okay. So let's get started. <laughs> First up, we're taking a look at the box. And it's the same size and shape as the previous Midnight Masquerade. The only difference is that, you know, the one for the princesses had a slip cover and it had all those little cutouts. Um, and this one is just kind of like a slip case that opens which I prefer this much more. Those were very difficult to, to handle. We have the artwork of the mask and the picture of Maleficent. It says Midnight Masquerade. She is limited edition of 5200. Again, they all have different limited edition numbers. And I love the purple and blue. It's really cool. Now on the back, of course, we have the artwork, the artwork from Stephen Thompson. He's posting these really cool animations and stuff on his page on Instagram. So make sure you check that out. She looks amazing as always, of course. And there's no price on the back. You can pause if you like to read that, by the way. There's no price, but the retail price is $129.99, just as they were the last time around. On the side of the box, it says Maleficent. And yeah, I think it looks really cool. Now, when it comes to opening it, it's the same thing. You know, the slip cover, you just open it like a window or window cover, and it has this really cool um, cutout. It's all this black, shiny um, theme going on. And there's a lot of reflection on that, by the way. And you see, you open it just like this. And the certificate is right on the bottom. It says Midnight Masquerade, Maleficent. And I actually got a really low number, which is really cool. Number 32 out of 5,200. Very nice. Um, and I'm actually going to open this doll. I'm going to debox her. I don't have enough space anymore, and I'm only gonna keep the dolls in box. They're 16 inch, you know, the 16 inch dolls are my favorite. Those I'll keep in box, but for these, they're all coming out. <laughs> but 
but I do want to show you quickly what she looks like in the box because, because I think it's great. Now the box itself has this really cool translucent purplish color and she's positioned very well. You can see the outfit in its entirety. She's holding her mask, looking off to the side. Obviously this is something you want to keep in box, but as I said, she's coming out, at least my doll is coming out. But as a collector, she's beautifully displayed. Now here she is magically out of the box after 20 minutes of handling it off camera. <laughs> and that's what I mean when I say magic, that nothing broke is magical to me because <laughs> it's a hassle. They're secured in there like you can't imagine. So now we're taking a closer look at her collar and I will be removing it so you can kind of see how it all works. I'm going to deconstruct this entire doll because she's made in such a interesting way, the way that everything is pieced together. Now, of course, this is a plastic piece. Um, it's called sculpted and painted. Um, <laughs> it's supposed to be her bird, the, the raven, and it's attached there with rubber bands. And you're gonna see later on how I put it back and all of that. But as you can see, it has this iridescent color to it and it's purple, bluish, you know, the camera picks it up in all sorts of different lights. Um, I'm not a huge fan of this, but I don't hate it. It's hard to explain because having her in person, you know, this is pretty much how it came in the box, which you saw earlier. Those little um, metal wires were, hold were like attached to her head. So that kept it in place perfectly fine. But if you don't have that, then it does get kind of loose because the rubber bands holding it is definitely not enough at all. So as much as I can keep it together for the video and the pictures and all of that, in person, it's not realistic that it's gonna stay up like this. As you can see, it, it's pretty hard. So I'm gonna have to do something about that later on. <laughs> now, when it comes to her face, I, in my opinion, she's beautiful. They did give her this hair horns instead of like the plastic horns, which I know a lot of people don't like or they're not fans of. Um, I myself, originally, I didn't like it, but seeing them in person, I really do. I think they look very unique. They look cool. It's very, I can't think of the time period of this kind of hairstyles, but that's what it reminds me of. Now she does have super long um, lashes, as you can see. Well, the ones in the, in the corner are very long. She has earrings that you could remove if you wanted to. But as you see, I love the lashes. They are so over the top and dramatic. She does have yellow eyes, purple eyeshadow. Um, they did release a Maleficent doll a long time ago. It was one of the first designer dolls. And I'm pretty sure they have the same face sculpt. I can't say 100% because I don't have that doll, but it seems to me like it's the same one. She's beautiful though. I love the paint job on this. I love the burgundy, almost purple lips. I think she looks perfectly beautiful. And she's green, but she's not like an ugly green. It's a very light green. If you hear, no if you hear noise, don't mind. It's just my dog. Um, and now this is her mask. It's all plastic and painted in the same iridescent uh, color and it has the strings that you could tie if you want it uh, But I'm gonna put it on her just so you can see how it works It's actually really great the way that they constructed this and you're gonna see it in a minute because The two side plastics in the back actually attach perfectly to her ears So, you know, you have those strings just for cute basically see when you push it She looks so badass, right? She looks scary and evil and Definitely don't want to mess with her when she shows up. You see how it's attached to the ears in a way, like it clicks? It's perfect. And again, you could tie the strings if you want it. You don't have to, and I'm not going to because I'm not keeping it this way. I'm afraid that it might stain the doll over time. So I'm definitely not keeping the mask on. And now let me show you how it looks when you put the collar thing back on um, temporarily, just so you can see it. And it looks really cool. It actually helps the collar stay on way better. But again, I have to find out a way to keep that on her <laughs> and I'll do that later. Now, when it comes to the outfit, um, I did say I wanted to deconstruct it, but first I want to show you the stance because it's a new one. You see, I normally just pull the doll up and it comes up. This one doesn't because it has uh, two, little, two little plastic thingies that go underneath her leg. And of course it's all black. It's not clear like it's been before. You see those two little tabs? They actually go right in the middle of her legs. I know you can see it there, right? Yeah, you can see it. So you see, you can pull up because it's attached. So that's kind of cool. I've First time I see it, maybe a doll that I never took out had it, but it's the first time that I see it 
100%. So let's put it together. The tag uh, came down. And yeah, as you can see, her outfit is not over the top. It doesn't have any rhinestones or embroidery or anything of that. And I know that's a turn off for a lot of you guys. And I have to agree, in my opinion, uh, she is very simple. She looks fabulous and she's beautiful. Like, don't get me wrong, but she's definitely simple. Uh, doesn't have a lot going on, doesn't have a lot of details. But what she does have is super cool. I love the fishnets and I love the new hand molds that they gave her. It's similar to the uh, limited edition ones, you know, the 16 inch ones. And she has her nails painted black, which again, it's a cool touch. And of course the color green that they chose for her, it's really good. It's not like wicked green, you know, it's very pastel, but I love it. I think it fits her perfectly. So I got sidetracked <laughs> back to the outfit. As I said, I wanted to take everything apart so you can see how it's made. So you can see, it seems to be like a, a leather like fabric for the dress. And it's really nice. She has her regular um, arched feet, uh, right? Pointy feet with regular black heels. No big deal there. We've seen them before <laughs> um, when it comes to the outfit, right? She has this thing in the back that is sort of like a cape, but at the same time, it's like sleeves. It has a rubber band, not a rubber band, it has a metal through it where you can kind of shape it whichever way you like, um, which is really nice. And it kind of looks like crocodile or snake fabric or something like that. It's pretty cool. It's attached to her neck with this chain. You see, you can either put it in the front like this and it's kind of like um, sleeves. Again, I'm not sure if that's the purpose of it. In the stock photos, it kind of does look like this. So that's what I'm going with and you place it in front of the bottom uh, panel, which I'll take off now so you can see. That's just kind of the way to um, display her, I guess, in my opinion. So let's put that to the front so you can see how this um, back part works. It's red and this like iridescent purple, it's like two layers of that. It's really nice fabric. So again, I don't think, you know, they used the rhinestones and the embroidery and all of that, but they did use really cool fabrics for this doll. So as you can see here, uh, the bottom train is attached to the bodice, right? It's a two-piece outfit. It's a bodice and a skirt. And on one side, it's just connected permanently, right? Like sewn in. And on the other side, you just click it. So it's cool. It's a train and she has the wings and it's just everything. Sorry for the doll nudity. Don't mind it. It's just plastic. <laughs> now the actual dress itself has this really cool material, right? It's supposed to be like leather. And it looks like a real leather outfit that you will find on a person because it has the double layers and it's really cool. I love the purple, also the purple line that connects to um, the line on the bodice. I like that a lot. See, when you take it off, you can see that she has articulation right there at the waist and her underwear is black. I think she looks super cool. I also love this slit, right? I love that. This slit is very Angelina Jolie, which is very fitting. And now, <laughs> I just keep talking over everything. Now this is just me kind of showing you how to put her back together, how to display her in a way that the outfit um, shows, right? Or the outfit is shown to its full potential, in my opinion, right? Uh, based on the stock photos, this is kind of the look, right? The thingies, you know, the, the, the panels go in front with the metallic purple and all of that, and it looks really cool. From the back, it's all pretty much black, very plain, but again, it looks cool and it kind of shows the purpose of the outfit. I love that the train is kind of long, really, really nice. And now I wanted to show you quickly what it looks like if you put it as um, sleeves, right? And you don't have to, you can leave them hanging low behind her, but as sleeves, it does look pretty cool. So that is all for today. I apologize for talking so much and making such a long video, but the following ones, if I get the dolls, whichever ones I get, they'll be a little bit shorter because we've gone over all the information. So yeah, best of luck to all of you. Again, um, I hope you're able to get whichever doll you want from this collection, whether it's through Merch Pass or in the store. Just be safe if you go out there and take care of yourself, take care of others, and I'll see you all on my next video. Bye-bye.